guys, so now that it's December, that sounded really crazy to say. I can't even believe it's December right now. But it's now time to look back at my beauty and random favorites from last month. Yay! Um, uh, yeah, so I'm just really, really excited to share with you what I have from this month to share with you because it was my favorites. So I have a couple beauty things and then the rest are all just kind of like randoms, hair care, skin care, candle type things things. I have my favorite TV show, stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to start off with beauty things. Yay! <laughs> so the first thing I have is something that I've owned for quite a few years now and I just never really started wearing it. I feel like it's more of a mature color. Um, and it is this Clinique lipstick and it is in the color Raspberry Glaze. And I love this. It's the one I'm currently wearing and it's just like the perfect neutral kind of berry color for me. I find that a lot of the berry colors are either too red or they're too brown. This one is like that perfect in between. It's not a huge super bright color but it still gives a little bit of an impact and I'm just in love with it and because it's Clinique it stays on all day long. It has a tiny little bit of like almost like shimmer in it so it kind of looks like you're wearing gloss so it's kind of like a cheat one and I'm just in love with it and Yes, yeah, so thank you Clinique for making my new favorite fall winter color. I've owned it forever, but now I'm just getting into wearing it. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one I have is the nail color I'm currently wearing. Can you tell that it's my favorites because I'm using it right now? Um, it is the Nicole by OPI. This one, it's sealed with a Chris. And this is from the Kardashian line that they had. I bought this one a while ago, so I'm not sure if they still sell it in stores, but if they do, check it out. Also, they usually have these a lot, uh, surprisingly, actually, at, like, Dollarama for, like, two, three bucks kind of thing, like the um, ones that they don't sell in stores anymore. So go check that one out if you're ever looking for any Nicole by OPI colors that they don't sell in stores anymore. So make sure to go check that one, that out. But, yeah, sealed with a Chris. It's the perfect, like, almost like a cranberry oxblood color. What I really like about this as well, if you look at my nails, I'm going to do that awkward really close up thingy. Um, they don't chip. They haven't chipped. And it's been like, I think it's been, yeah, it's been like six days it's been on. And like it's starting to chip a tiny bit on this nail. But six days and I haven't had to repaint it all. And the only reason this nail kind of has to be repainted is because I kind of was decorating Christmas stuff and kind of got silver paint all over it. So now it has this weird color in the corner awkwardness but that's it for that so I'm loving this and I definitely recommend it it's perfect like Christmassy color it's like a mix but yeah mix between oxblood and cranberry I love it yes 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 the next one is a hair product and it is the Tresemme rejuvenating mud mask and it's from their nurturing rituals and this stuff it's only like five or six dollars I think I got it at Walmart in the summer and I just started getting into it. I've had it, yeah, I had it for a while. I was using up some other mud masks and the problem is like when you're a student you can't really afford a lot so I was going for a cheaper one and I'm kind of glad I did. This stuff smells so good. I can't even describe the smell. I don't know. It smells like almost like a fruity but very clean. Like you know that smell when it's just like a clean smell? I don't know smells so good and I mostly put this on my ends um you can't really see because it's up but my hair because it's ombre so damaged on the ends uh that's why I'm letting my hair grow quite natural up at the top but the ends are super super dry so I usually put my normal conditioner throughout uh most of my hair just to right below my ears and then for the rest the other half I use this and I'm finding that's working quite well so I'm very excited about that the next thing I have is an eye makeup remover and I've had this I want to say like two three months now and at first I was kind of like oh, I don't know how I feel about this I'm gonna use the other stuff and now I'm just like miracle stuff like oh I just shook it up but it's like right here because I use it twice a day like because I like to use it at night to clean my eyes but then I also like to use eye makeup remover in the morning I don't know if that's good for my eyes or lashes or whatever but I find that I just like it to make sure it's all gone um because I do have quite dark under eye circles before I do my makeup that if there was any makeup still somewhat how somehow left on from the night before I don't want it underneath to make my eyes look even darker underneath so yes I love this stuff and it's purple which you've probably seen in other videos of mine 
my whole like bedroom scheme is like a purple in my uh, apartment in the bedroom area and look even like my little ornaments are purple I can't even point Ooh. um so it matches and that's maybe why I bought it oops but I'm glad I did because I love it the next thing is a soap and it is the Bath and Body Works their Seattle hazelnut latte I got this one on sale um about two months ago maybe just about a month and I have used that much I'm in love with this. It smells so, it smells like Starbucks mixed with like hazelnuts. I don't know if you guys ever did it, but you know at Christmas when people put out like the big bowls of nuts and then you just use a nutcracker and you crack nuts like really fresh and then you eat them. Um, and it just gives that certain smell of fresh hazelnut. That's what this smells like mixed with Starbucks. So Christmas tradition mixed with Starbucks. Win-win. Yes loving it and I love it so much and that I'm just rambling saying how much I love it but I definitely recommend trying it if they still have it in store I'm not sure because I bought it on sale so that might have been there we don't have it anymore but I'm pretty sure they still had it online because I was just checking their online store about two three days ago and it was still on there because I was contemplating ordering another one so yes the candle I have for this month is their Frosted Cranberry from Bath & Body Works. It's from their White Barn line. Um, I love the top that's gold, but the real, th real thing I love about it is the color and the smell. Like, I've had a lot of cranberry stuff in the past from them um, and other brands, and this one, just something about it's so different. It's like a warm cranberry, sugary smell to it, but it smells so fresh and good. Yeah, it's their Frosted Cranberry, and I am just in love with it. It has, like, the sweet yet tart smell that it gives the room, and it just, I find it's, like, very fresh and good and awesome. Yes. So, on to accessories. I've been loving uh, this bow necklace, or actually pretty much anything with bows on it. Yeah, I love them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm wearing them in my hair, on my necklace other jewelry fun times yes the other accessory I've been loving is infinity scarves these are my favorite three right now um, they're all from sirens I got them it's $10 for the two long ones to the gray and the red and then the purple was only $8 because it's a lot shorter and uh, the gray one I just love because it matches everything so warm like seriously this thing is like so long Ugh. Um, and I just love it. It's super, super warm. And where I am in Canada, it gets so cold. We've had so many minus 20 days already. Um, yay for winter. Um, but the red one I have, this is the one, I call it my Christmas scarf for this year. It's just red. It's the same length, like, crazy long infinity length ha oh, ha see what I did there um and it's just red and then like in between holding them all together is like the a shimmery red and yeah that's all the thinner string in here and I'm just in love with it and then the last one I got is a lot of a tighter knit um but it's also a lot it's a lot shorter like that's as long as it is but it has like two different colors purples just one shade off and it is so pretty I just feel like the purple looks so good with so many different things that I have for fall and winter and it looks good against my skin and I'm just in love with purple as you can probably tell like I said my whole bedroom is pretty much purple theme so yes and then the last thing I have to share with you guys is my favorite TV show this month and it has been ready drum roll that was like the worst drum I ever did the Carrie Diaries. I know I'm like a year late on this. Surprise, surprise. Chantel didn't watch the TV show when it was actually on TV. What's new? Um, but I love it. Like I started watching it on Netflix and loving it so much and I became obsessed and I watched it all over two days. I do that way too often where I spend an entire weekend just watching an entire series from start to finish. But that's just what I do. Mm -hmm. um, and I just became obsessed. I'm like, this is amazing. Like, ah, oh, like I love Sex in the City, but I like this show so much more. I love the cast and what they've done with it. And like, I just find it so amazing. Like this show, know what I hate though about when you like binge watch a TV show, you watch the entire TV show in like a weekend. And then when you get to the end, you have to wait a week for every new episode after that yeah not very pleased about that 
Um, but I'll get over it because it's such a good show. But yes, so now I'm just rambling, and yes, that's all I really have to show you lovely people on the other side of this screen that are hopefully watching this because it is good times. Yeah! Um, uh, you guys can limo down to my description bar to check out my social media links because I love social media so, so much. Yes, yes, yes. I love Instagram the most, and I've been liking Twitter a lot more lately. Starting to get into tweeting and stuff, as well as Keek. Keek is like my little baby. Um... I've had it for so long now, like when nobody else was on there, and I love it, and I still post on there quite often. Love it so, so much. So check out Keek if you haven't, because I just find it's amazing. And yes, mm hmm And if you're wondering why, you should check out Keek, because Jesse McCartney follows me. Like his actual, official, verified Jesse McCartney. That was probably one of the most exciting days of my life. Even though he follows like 4,000 other people. But 4,000 out of the amount of people that follow him is not that much. I am so lucky. Okay, you guys probably know my love for Jesse McCartney though, so. But now I'm just rambling, so I'll let you guys go. I hope you guys have an amazing, fantastic day that's as awesome as you are. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.